We're joined now by Washington Bureau Chief Craig Gilbert to talk about our other uh, big story in the news today, which is Hillary Clinton's visit to Milwaukee. Now, she's suffered some problems similar to Governor Walker in falling popularity numbers. Craig, can you give us a sense of where she stands among Wisconsin voters? Well, if you go back to late 2013, a little less than two years ago, um, she was quite popular in the state. I mean, she wasn't a candidate uh, for president at that time. Her favorability rating was in the mid to upper 50s. Uh, and the two polls that have been done by Marquette in, in this year, back in April, she was down to 48% favorability, and, and now she's down even further into the 30s. So uh, there's been some real slippage. It's particularly uh, among independents and uh, Democratic voters, where she still has a high rating, but it's not as high as it used to be. Is, this, is a lot of that due, do you think, to the, the email scandal or the email issue that keeps you know, lingering out there for her? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think part of it is just the fact that now she's a candidate for president, so she becomes a sort of a mo more polarizing figure than when she was Secretary of State. But yes, very definitely the email scandal has taken its toll, and um, it's really kind of provided uh, an opening, as we've seen nationally, but also in Wisconsin, uh, particularly for Bernie Sanders. I mean, he's He's only, you know, low double digits is the gap right now between um, Clinton and Sanders in the state. And, um, and you can see kind of Bernie Sanders developing a political base here. Yeah, well, he was here a few months back and had a huge crowd in Madison. I was intrigued by some of the numbers you were describing in your story where, where Hillary actually, uh, Clinton fares better in Milwaukee County among Democrats than Dane County. Any, any sense of why that is? Yeah, there's a real uh, contrast between the, you know, within the Democratic Party, between these two sort of power centers in Wisconsin. You know, Madison really kind of represents the, that kind of white, college-educated liberal vote, being a university town and a state capital. And in Milwaukee, you've got a big African-American population. You also have a lot of blue-collar white Democrats. And those are two groups that where Hillary Clinton is doing considerably better than Bernie Sanders right now in the early polling, whereas Bernie Sanders' strength is those um, college-educated white liberals. So even if you look at the polling in, among Democratic voters in Wisconsin, in Marquette's polling, it's really interesting because Bernie Sanders is, is leading Clinton among younger voters. He's leading Clinton among the most liberal Democratic voters. He's leading Clinton among men, but he's also leading Clinton among college-educated voters, and, and Hillary Clinton is ahead among older voters, among um, blue-collar voters, and, uh, and she's doing better in Milwaukee. And she, of course, she's got a, a strong edge among women voters. Can you talk a little bit about the size of the gender gap she has in terms of support for her? Yeah, we see a really big gender gap overall in her popularity. I mean, she's kind of holding her own uh, with women despite this slump in popularity, but she's got a big deficit um, among male voters statewide. And then even within the Democratic Party, I mean, she is trailing uh, Bernie Sanders among Democrats and Democratic leaders among men. Um, but in that same group among women, she has a very healthy lead. So there's a real, um, obviously, a real gender pattern going on with Hillary Clinton, uh, uh, yeah. both within the Democratic Party and among the overall electorate. Yeah, there's been much talk about how the Bernie Sanders surge, but she's still fares very well against him, correct, and against the various Republicans, you know, and the various hypothetical matchups. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she is absolutely more than competitive right now in Wisconsin. She's she's um, leading among uh, in a in a hypothetical primary matchup against Bernie Sanders. I think um, by about twelve points, and um, and she's doing well despite her slippage. Uh, she's doing well and holding her own against um, the big Republican names when she's matched up against Jeb Bush and Donald Trump and Scott Walker and Ted Cruz. In Wisconsin, she has a healthy lead of mid-single digits to low double digits. So, you know, one thing she does have going for her is that um, these other guys, the Republican candidates, um, aren't looking all that great right now either. They have, they largely have negative images and, and all these candidates are struggling with independent voters in particular in the state. All right. Lastly, we haven't talked yet about uh, Vice President Joe Biden and the speculation that he may get in the race. Let's just assume that he does. Does that help or hurt Hillary Clinton in the primary? Well, I mean, if you look at Wisconsin, you know, Joe Biden, um, we did poll, or Marquette did poll on Joe Biden back in April, and um, not a lot of support for Joe Biden. Um, now, that maybe, maybe that changes if Hillary Clinton encounters more and more political difficulties, but um, I think it would take a real collapse on the part of Hillary Clinton to kind of create an opening 
for Joe Biden because sort of Bernie Sanders has identified, you know, his potential base of support in the Democratic Party. I don't think it's the same coalition within the Democratic Party that naturally gravitates toward Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden needs a real Clinton collapse uh, to find room in this race. All right. Well, as always, thanks for joining us, Craig. You're welcome.